here we are in the Titanic with Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hello, my darling. It's a pleasure <laughs> to see you again. <laughs> hey, the last time we got together, it was quite nippy out at Branson Landing. Remember that? I do remember, yes. I almost got frostbite out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the wonderful places to come in Branson is the Titanic. And there's always something new here, and we're here to talk about the musicians of the Titanic. Yes, you're exactly right. You know, we do have over 400 real Titanic artifacts that are valued at over $4 million. And every single year, we take things out, bring new things in. So anytime you come back, there's always something different to see. And we just debuted our brand new music gallery. And we're very, very honored because this is the first time in the world there has ever been a tribute to Titanic's band. And of course, they are, you know, noted. If anybody's seen the movie Titanic, there's that very emotional scene as the ship is sinking, where there are these musicians that are humbly on the deck and, and playing songs. And uh, it's a very powerful moving point, but it really happened. Yes, you're exactly right. You know, almost everybody knows that story that the band played on, and that's a true story. Even as the water crept up past their ankles, 28 degree water, they still played the music. And finally, their band leader, Wallace Hartley, he turned to the others and he says, go ahead and leave and get out while you can. There's nothing more you can do. Try and save yourselves. And they did. They stood up and walked away. And as they were walking away, they could still hear Wallace continuing to play his violin. And they loved and respected him so much, they turned right back around, sit down, open their cases, and began to play. And none of those men survived. And we truly believe that when the music stopped, the legend began. That is a very powerful, very powerful and moving statement and, and thought to realize that that took place. These eight musicians, uh, ranging from the age of 20 years old, the youngest, 40 years old to the oldest. <laughs> the youngest was a, a, a trained cello uh, player. And the oldest was a, a pianist. Oh, yes. And each of these men were the cream of the crop. They were the best of the best because first-class Titanic passengers are not going to accept anything less. Now, the interesting thing about the band is that they had been hired individually by a talent agency specifically to come aboard and play for the maiden voyage of Titanic, and it's worldwide news, and they've got to be the best. So this was the first time these men have ever played together, all right? So no rehearsal time, so they have to be really good, and so does the band leader have to be really good to be able to keep them all together. Now, here's the thing. These gentlemen are going to have to memorize and know over 200 pieces of music and are not allowed to use sheet music out in front of the passengers. Now, I understand, too, that three of the musicians had never been out to sea before. Yes, it was their first time. Could you imagine how excited they were? They're going to go on the biggest ship in the world. It's all over the headlines. People are clamoring about for tickets, and they're going to get to go on. Not only on, but perform. Don't you know that's going to look good on the resume? <laughs> <laughs> also, Jamie, I thought it was interesting, too. Uh, a couple of the musicians were waiting to, to come back to land to get married. Most of these men were unmarried. That's right. And, you know, the most poignant one for me is really Wallace Hartley, the band leader. And we were able to actually have his violin here this past summer, only for two weeks before it went up for, for auction. And it was an engagement gift from his fiancée. And on the front of the violin is a metal placard, and it reads, For Wallace, on the occasion of our engagement from Mariah. And the plan was, right after Titanic, they would get married. And she told him, I'll wait on you. Well, Wallace didn't survive, and Mariah never, ever married. She was brokenhearted all of her life. Wow, that, that's a sad it story. It is sad, yeah. you know? And I think what's interesting here, Jamie, about this, this is... This is not just a, a museum of artifacts. This is about people. This is about life, you know? Yes. We live these kind of stories today. That's right. You know, it was 102 years ago, and we get to bring history to life every single day. And we have, you know, live actors that bring these people to life and portray them. In the music gallery, we have a violinist that's here, dressed in his tuxedo, playing the real songs that the, that the band played. And we also have um, a pianist who plays some pieces of music that would have been played on board Titanic. So it really helps to, to bring bring this room alive, bring the museum alive. You know, music was a very important part of Titanic and a very important part of all of our lives. You know, we connect with emotion through music, and that's what we do here, too. Well, those who know piano know that Steinway is a name in piano, and there were five of these 
uh, grand pianos yes. on the Titanic. <laughs> and we have one on display here. That's right. We have a beautiful black, shiny piano right in the middle of the room, center stage, if you will. And it is to, you know, signify and pay homage, if you will, to those pianos on Titanic. And it's our chance to brag on them a little bit that Titanic indeed did have five Steinway pianos on board Titanic. And um, if you are a, a pianist and you're here at the museum, you know, we just might make an exception and let you play the piano. And we have had several of our guests come through who are very talented and are very honored that they get to play piano on the Titanic. Who can say that, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, <laughs> I, I can't play piano, so you won't hear me do that. I can't <laughs> either, so I just sit and admire when they do. <laughs> wow, Jamie, this has been wonderful. Now, how long will this uh, tribute to the musicians of the Titanic be here? This will be throughout the year. So you were very excited to have it the entire year. You know, previously in our museum, this gallery was the Unsinkable Molly Brown Tribute Gallery, and that has moved on to our Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg, Tennessee Museum. So they get to debut that gallery there. And then this gallery now debuts this year in 2014. And we have some really, really nice things in this gallery. We have our newest artifact on display, and it is an actual letter written by the band leader, Wallace Hartley. It's on a very rare piece of Titanic stationery. RMS Titanic stood for Royal Mail Ship, over 3,000 bags of mail on board, and a lot of these pieces of mail got delivered because we stopped in Ireland and France before we were going to New York, and his letter got delivered, and um, his mom and dad got it, and his letter is valued today at over $185,000, just on a tiny piece of paper. Wow. Also on display here is a songbook that was actually on the Titanic. Yes, we have what's called a concert book, and a first-class passenger would be handed that as they strolled about to be able to see what kind of music would be played for them. And um, it just lists all the different types of music that the band knew. Um, but, of course, you could request a song, but you better be ready to tip them, and that's what they relied on. That's where they're going to make the big bucks, and big bucks indeed because they're there were 48 millionaires on board Titanic. Wow. Let's talk about tickets. How can we come and see this wonderful attraction? Yes, you can get tickets right here at the ship, or the easiest way is to go to our website, titanicattraction.com, and just reserve your tickets and come on in and see us. All right, friend, you heard about it. Now you've got to come see this wonderful exhibit of Titanic's musicians. And again, go to the website. Again, that website? titanicattraction.com. All right, Jamie, it is always great to see you. And I hope you have a fantastic day and happy sailing to you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>